In this tutorial, we're going to use null objects to bring control in situations that might seem otherwise complex. To start, let's go down to the timeline and click once to make sure the timeline panel is active, then press the spacebar to preview the animation. And we have a little town animation where all the elements are fanning out from the center. And while this animation is nice, I'd like to make it a little more dynamic by adding some scale and make them actually pop up in the middle of the scene. So let's press the spacebar to stop playback. Make sure your current time indicator is anywhere down the timeline other than frame zero. We want them to be fanned out a little bit. Go to the bottom of the timeline, click and drag up to the left, drawing a lasso around all the layers so they're all selected. Press S to open the scale, and just scrub on the scale parameter of any of the layers. And notice, this is problematic because all of these layers are scaling around their own center point. And I would like to actually maintain this animation where they're fanning out and not have them accidentally floating through the scene. Press Ctrl Z on Windows or Command Z on the Mac to undo the last change. Then press S to hide the scale parameter. This is a case for null objects. We could pre-compose all these layers, but I still want to have access to the layers in the same composition. So what I'm going to do is go up to the Layer menu and then choose New, Null Object. When the null is placed in the scene, it's just placed at the center of the project and the null's anchor point is in the upper left corner of the null object. Whenever you reposition the null, you want to make sure and line up the anchor point of the null with the anchor point of the scale that you plan to perform. So let's slide the null and place it down at the bottom of this center building. Now we can go down to the timeline, select layer 1, and press P to open the position parameter. I know the center of the composition is 640 pixels on the X, so I'll change that parameter to 640 on the X, and I know that's the center of the comp. So this looks good. Now all we need to do is have all the other layers follow this layer, and this is where parenting comes into play. If you don't see the parent column active in the timeline, Go to the layer name and right click, or control click if you're on the Mac, and go to the columns here and make sure the parent column is active. All right, now since I want all of these layers to follow null one, I'll go to the label for layer two, click on it and choose select label group and all the layers will be selected. Now we can go to the parent column and this icon here is called a pick whip. Click on that icon and drag it towards the null and just have it point directly on null 1 and let go. Now select layer 1, our null object, and press S for the scale. And if you scrub on the scale, now everything is going to move together. So let's move our current time indicator back to the beginning of the timeline and change the scale parameter to a setting of 0. Select layer 2 and press the U key to open any animated properties. This way we can time the scale change to the position change of the other layers. Click on the stopwatch for the scale parameter in layer 1 to set a keyframe. Then press K on your keyboard to move down the timeline to the other visible keyframe. Let's change the scale up to a value of 135% and press enter. Now, if we scrub, you'll notice not only are the elements sliding, but the layer is actually scaling up and the animation is scaling up all together. Now, since these are vector layers, I'm going to select all the illustrator layers one more time by going to the label for layer two and choose select label group. And in the switches area, if you don't see these switches, toggle your switches and modes till you see the switches. Click the second switch in from the left that's continuously rasterize. Having continuously rasterize active for the illustrator layers will keep them nice and sharp regardless of their scale. Let's preview our animation. Move the current time indicator back to the beginning of the timeline, click anywhere outside the layers to deselect them all, and press the space bar to preview the animation. Now I know that scale is rather linear, and if you want to go ahead and select these keyframes and apply some ease to them, please feel free. The most important thing to remember is the next time you run into an animation problem, you might want to consider if null objects combined with parenting might be the solution. 